I'm Cobb the drummer and this is the great Gaspar and today we are recording a new single. Yes, and be sure to like and subscribe for more epic musical content. Now, a quick backstory on this song. I could not sleep randomly one night and I picked up my guitar. It was pitch black in my room, but I wanted to keep it that way. So I picked up my guitar and I came up with this riff and I wrote a song around it. And now is the time where we're finally going to put it all together into a song. So I composed the whole song on Muse Score. It's a free program that you can download. And I'm going to record each part piece by piece. But normally when you're recording things separately, you start with the drums. In this case, I'm going to do the drums at the end. A lot of bands have done that, including Sly and the Family Stone. They would record the drums last after doing a scratch track for the drums and building on top of that track. So we're going to take that method and we're going to utilize that today. No, because you can't go in four. The whole song's in one. It's common time. Yeah. All right. Oh, wrong note. I already started <laughs> off on the wrong note. Your video. Awesome. So we did a take with me playing bass in my fingers, and then we just did one with the guitar pick. And it sounds better with a pick than it does with my fingers because I'm not actually a bass player, so the consistency isn't quite there. So just thought I'd give you an update, yes. Take two is the take, the take with the pick being played on the bass. Stop at the bass. Yeah, I'm just gonna record the main riff. So this, the first take will just be the main riff. And the second part will be the other bit. And they can be edited separately. All right. So I'm going to call it guitar one and guitar two. Oh! And then guitar three minute. will be the solo. We're not ready. One, two. Oh, yeah, it's way too low. <laughs> Just a little inspiration because I'm playing a Stratocaster here. <laughs> E flat tuning, baby. E flat standard. What do you know about that? Black Sabbath Nirvana. Let's go. Ready? Mm hmm. One more time. It's all about the power stance. One more time. <laughs> and starting on time. Sorry. We're not ready. That was it. Guitar solo time. Damn. We'll get him next time. Sorry, spreads it out a little bit. Go on, then you do. This song's in minor, right? Or is it major? 
minor, E flat minor. So, there, there. no Morrison here, baby. What the? Finally home, so I kick up my feet, but I'm biting my Wait nails. Whoa. Finally home, so I kick up my feet, but I'm biting my nails on the edge of my seat. I gotta be no. clean. I didn't do Finally home, so I kick up my feet, but I'm biting my nails at the edge of my seat. I gotta be free, wanna feel more alive, so I live out the day like I'm going to die. Time to strike up a match, gonna call up my friends, and I open the door just to do it all again. Alright, now it's finally time to record some drums. I know we're doing this backwards, like I said at the beginning of the video. I want to do the drums last so I know how much space I'm working with for this particular recording. An hour of setup just to record two minutes and 30 seconds of drums. Well, let's give it a shot. There you have it, recording a bedroom pop slash garage rock song. Yes, one part bedroom pop recorded in the bedroom and then one part recorded in the garage. A perfect fusion of bands like Men I Trust, Sales mixed with The Strokes and The White Stripes, yes. And if you would like to hear this song, check out the music video for Reality Check by yours truly. Special thanks to the great Gaspar for helping me record this song as well as Turtle Blues and Mark Sealing because I'm about to send off these files to my producer. You can check out his info in the description of this video and be sure to stay tuned for more epic musical content. But in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Bye. Uh -huh.